What's up YouTube? JD here. Today I'm talking about my writing bag and what I carry with me to write on the go. And so this is my bag. And funny thing is, I kind of stole this one from my husband. <laughs> but he was no longer using it. I just love how sturdy it is. This is actually a Peak Design Everyday Messenger Bag. Um, it's technically a camera bag, believe it or not. But I absolutely love it. And I tend to destroy, I mean destroy bags. Because um, I tend to like, I put so much crap into them. And they just, they always end up falling apart. This one, however, has held up really well. And that was even after my husband used it for a good six months to a year um, as a work bag himself. So um, let's get started. So like I said, this is a Peak Design Everyday Messenger Bag, and I will link um, to their website below in the description. And I think, I think they may have a video here on YouTube about this bag. So I'll see if I can find that and link that as well. Um, so one of the things I love about this bag, it's got a padded strap and the straps are reinforced. Um, there's always all these little nooks and crannies. I love this, these little pockets on the side because I can just slide my phone right in there when I'm walking and it's easy. I can grab it on the back here. If I unzip it, I have got my laptop. So key writing instrument here my MacBook Pro. I use that for a lot of my editing, revision, revisions, um, my YouTube editing and whatnot. It's got this nice padded pocket. It keeps your laptop nice and safe. I've got my checkbook, which I don't necessarily need in my writing bag, but it's there. And it's got like this extra little padded for like a tablet or something. This is all padded. And that's just the separate like laptop compartment. And then this is another really cool thing. So this is a mess, the messenger bag. So it's got this like little flip. If I pull this down, I can open it, right? But I can also have this access right here to get into the top without having to like completely open it up. I can easily grab just like little things I have on the top here, which is so nice. Um, makes it really easy to handle. Um, there's also a extra little pocket here. Um, and whatnot. And so here is my writing bag. This, these are all the tools I use in this little pocket here. I like to keep my headphones. Um, it, it's not a very big pocket. So I tend to just keep my headphones in there and then I also have my passport in there. I'm getting ready to leave for a trip tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, so I have my passport in there because I don't want to forget it. And this is the bag I'm carrying on the plane with me. Um, glasses case, important. Uh, bullet journal. This is actually um, my March one. I'm getting ready to archive this one. I'm almost done with it because um, I'm filming this. Uh, a few days early for you guys. Um, so I'm getting ready to archive it. This is my bullet journal. All my notes, my to-do lists. I keep everything in here. Also in here, let's see, let's grab first. Ha! This is my hard copy of my current book that I am editing, Legacy of the Necromancer. You see it's all printed out. I've been reading through, making notes, and typing it up from scratch from this hard copy. So this is kind of, this is kind of a very important. Um, so current work, I have also, this is okay. This book, <laughs> this book is my lightsaber, lifesaver. I have had this book for a while. Uh, you can see it's pretty beat up and I even have like a protective cover on the top <laughs> of it. Um, the Emotion Thesaurus by Angela Ackerman and Becca Puglis. Pub, Publis? Okay, I'm going to murder that name. I can't. Um, I am horrible with names. I'm sorry. But this book, there's a reason why I keep it in my work bag because I am useless without it. I am horrible at describing emotions. If you see any of my rough drafts, it's like, oh, he was angry. She was sad. This 
book, if I just open it up to one, it gives you the definition, the physical signs, eternal, internal sensations, mental responses, cues or of acute or long-term um, uh, versions of that feeling. This is open to anguish. Um, and what it may escalate to if um, cues of su suppressed emotion. And then each page has like another little writing tip at the bottom, which I absolutely love. Um, so I originally bought this in ebook and then I found out that I was using it like all the time. I was like, I just need a hard copy. And I got the hard copy and then I was like, well, the hard copy won't stay open. So I took it to like Staples or uh, FedEx and I had them cut the binding off and had it spiral bound and put an extra cover, like plastic covers on them to kind of just help protect it. And then it'll also, um, if you see here, it now it'll lay flat or I can even um, fold it over and it'll just stay open to the page I'm working on, which is very, very handy. But Emotion Thesaurus, literally do not leave home without it um, when I go to write. And let's see, these are a bunch of chapter notes from Will of the Witch that came out of my um, bullet journal. Let's see, okay, my current reading uh, write Your Novel from the Middle by J James Scott Bell. This is my current uh, craft uh, improvement book that I am reading. I'm not very far into it, as you can see. I'm a little under a ways, uh, half ways. So I'm working on that. Um, plotting notes for the next Light Walkers book. This is Light Walkers book four. So that is a whole book right there in notes on note cards that I need to put into Scrivener and I have not done yet that yet. Um, pins, my pin case. This is, thing is huge. I have actually a new pin case, but I have to make it. That's much smaller that I'll be taking with me to Japan uh, tomorrow, but I just need to find some time to put it together. But I literally, like, I just have, like, tons, tons of pins in here. I've got Sharpie pins. I've got the Ink Joy ink. These are the Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pins. I can't get that to focus. Oh, my God. There we go. These I like. I've got some of the um, Stabilos, the Sharpie, Frix, the Frixon. Oh, I love these pins. They're, these pins, I really like them because they're erasable, but they come on these vibrant colors like pink and purple. Uh, I think I have like orange. I had like a whole pack. There's some green, but they also come in highlighters and markers. Um, some of the pins and the uh, markers and whatnot are hard to find in the U.S. Let's see, and so like this is, uh, I think I actually got this particular highlighter set on Amazon, which you can find them there. Um, they just tend to be a little expensive, but these will definitely be uh, one of the things that I am pick stocking up on in Japan on my trip. So, but yeah, I've got a whole bunch of those in there. Uh, I think I've got a couple of business cards I didn't want to lose in there. Maybe a couple of post-it notes, some red pins, of course, whatnot. Um, I think I also have the pin for my old tablet in there. Um, that fun, that. So there's that. Um, of course I have my wallet. Um, I don't think I have anything else. So this little divider here, I love this. So this comes out, but I'm not going to pull it out because I have it exactly where I want it right now. Um, but these, it, there's like, I actually think I have like two or three because this was originally a camera bag. It came with all these different dividers to section this big compartment to protect your camera and lenses. So since I'm not using it for a camera bag or lenses or anything like that, get all these pieces of paper and trash out. Um, I took all, took out most of them and I just left this one because as you saw, I had all my like books in this section and then I can put like my wallet in here or um, I'll toss my keys in there. Um, it's also big enough for my water bottle. I can slide my water bottle in there without having too much of an issue. 
Um, in this big pocket, in this pocket up front, this pocket I love. Whoa, and now it's, <laughs> now it's heavy, <laughs> uh, um, front heavy, and it's falling over. I just have a lot of my little odds and ends, um, feminine problem products, because you know, you never know. Um, my magic mouse for editing. I don't use it a lot with my MacBook Pro. Usually just when I'm editing, um, video, it's just a little easier to, uh, drag and drop and video clips and stuff with this than with my fingers. Um, my power cable for the MacBook Pro, um, what I love is though, now that the MacBook Pro is USB-C, I could, this will also double as a phone charger, so I only have to carry the one charger. Um, emergency inhaler, because, you know, I'm that asthmatic girl. A fidget cube, I love, oh my god. I love having a fidget cube. Um, it's very handy to have to play with. Um, I want to get one of those, some of the, um, there's like a silly putty for writers. I want to get a can of, but I just haven't done that yet. But until then I have a fidget cube, which is pretty awesome. And I love it. Um, gum. I like having gum on hand. I mean, when I write, I tend to want to snack and that is so not good for me. So I have been using gum to try and break myself of that habit. Um, all my loyalty cards, which half of these I am no longer members of, but you know, I never actually do uh, clean anything out. And then I think I actually have some post-it notes. So, so that is my bag and I've just kind of kept it to the basics. Um, the smaller bag has kind of helped me to um, pare down to exactly what I need and so I'm not carrying like a lot of extra stuff lately so this is it and that is awesome so I'm just going to try and shove all this back in here so it's not so I don't forget anything next time I try to go out so that is it and like I said this bag is a is by Peak Design and I just, I absolutely love, I think we have, we have their backpack, we have the messenger bag, we have another Peak Design bag. I think we've got like four or five of these bags and they are just, they have just held up really well. I haven't had any problem with them. And uh, I actually think, I think they come with a lifetime warranty, which is even awesome. So like, so if something ever did happen to it, I could probably take it back to the manufacturer and say, um, look, this is not good. I love this little clip in the front. So this clip, let me see if I can show it. So you have to pull it down and then it comes out. But this also doubles as a bottle opener, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So, but it just kind of locks in place there. And it's got just like a little bit of detail, peak design. And this bag comes in other colors too. It came, it, uh, I think it's like a, there's black and there's like a gray um, as well. So, like I said, I just, I love this bag. And I love that it fits everything I need to carry for work. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, great. Give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified when I'm when I've posted a new video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.